Welcome to another video. Today we are going to show you a reliable, stable operating system that is sometimes overshadowed by some big guns in the Linux world. Stay with us! Linux Mint Debian Edition, or LMDE4, codenamed Debian, has been around for about a month. Being based on Debian, it is an alternative option to standard Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu. Linux Mint team has pointed out that the goal of the LMDE project was to ensure Linux Mint would be able to continue to deliver the same user experience and how much work would be involved if Ubuntu was ever to disappear. We have installed LMDE4 both on VirtualBox and on actual but older hardware and this is what we have learned so far. First of all, LMD4 is as polished as its Ubuntu-based sibling. By just looking at it, a new user could not figure out which version she or he is staring at. The Cinnamon desktop version with LMD4 is the same as it is with mainstream standard Linux Mint 19.3 and it is Cinnamon 4.4. The LMD4 desktop look and feel is almost identical to Linux Mint 19.3 and is as consistent and finely honed as it is with its much sought after counterpart. A user gets the same level of polish, the same cinnamon themes and other look and feel goodies that can preload it with Linux Mint 19.3. So, if you do care a lot about the customization, LMD4 offers the same sets of wallpapers which can be found in all of the 19.x series of regular Linux Mint. The tools you get with LMD4 are almost the same as with Linux Mint 19.3. There are some minor differences though. For instance, regular Linux Mint 19.3 welcome screen has an extra item. Because it's based on Ubuntu, it offers a tool to download proprietary drivers for your specific machine. That tool cannot be found in the LMD4, since it's based on Debian Linux. Apart from that, a user will find the same software available as is with standard Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. Speaking about software, the only gripe we have is that the looks of apps installed within the Flatpak section of the Software Manager do not match those found in standard Debian repositories. Or better to say, they don't match the actual LMD4 desktop theme. As an example, look at the popular non-linear video editor Caden Live and its icons in LMD4 Software Manager. You can immediately tell the difference between those two. Or if you install some apps in the Flatpak section of the Software Manager, as we did with XNView MP Photo Editor, the apps do not behave in the same way, or better to say, the repo version or the version installed from Deb Archive downloaded from the internet is more polished and follows the desktop theme better than the Flatpak one, which looks more like some Windows 98 program.
Speaking of the DIB archives, some would not run after the installation, and that was the case with the above-mentioned XNView MP photo editor, for instance. But if these rather small inconsistencies do not bother you, then you can enjoy the latest versions of applications via Flatpak repository, or you can still use rather old but rock stable ones from the Debian repository. If you are interested in more ways to keep applications in your Linux setup fresh, look for one of our previous videos. As is the case with Linux Mint 19.3 Cinnamon Edition, LMD4 also offers the same set of apps in all categories. And of course, there are many tools for adding software, such as Software Manager, then Synaptic Package Manager, which many Debian-based distros do not offer by default anymore. And a very useful tool called GDB Package Installer is also installed out of the box. All in all, LMD4 is a highly recommended operating system. It's stable, reliable, does not update too often, and does not change much over time. It gets out of your way and allows you to be productive and focus on the tasks ahead. If that is what you're looking for, then LMD is the right system for you. We hope we have helped you in choosing a free, open source and user-friendly operating system. Thanks for watching and see you next time!